Over the last couple of days, I've not had much chance to jam because um, I've been trying to solve a problem with my setup and um, I solved it with this Arduino board and uh, this um, MIDI uh, outboard. I think that's what they call it. I've not got no experience with this um, stuff, but I'm pretty good at um, tinkering with code. And this is a bunch of code I wrote for this here Arduino uh, cir circuit board. Um, and what it does is it allows me to remotely trigger my Denon SE5000 and uh, my Electro Harmonix 45000 looper, which I'm, I've got up here. Now the looper can be triggered by MIDI, um, which is useful. But the problem is the Denon SE5000 can be triggered with a jack, which is actually in the back, called remote, a remote jack. Now I've stuck a mini jack cable in there, and that comes out around my desk into the Arduino. So effectively this Arduino board and the program can trigger the SE5000 and the EHX45000 looper at the same time. And I do this by using a MIDI foot controller, which is uh, made by Tech21 and it's called the MIDI Moose. Now I had this directly connected to the looper and I found that this is quite awkward to use because you need to bank through program changes in groups of five and then you've got access to each program change and a pedal. So if you're on um, um, f five, you banked up to five. Then the next one, this button, I believe, yes, will be will play six. I get a better shot. This one will play um, bank six, seven, eight, and so on. Now, what my box actually does is it allows me to remap the MIDI moose. So I can choose which program change messages I want to send to the looper and I can send batches of program change messages. And so I've mapped the first run on zero. So program change one, I've mapped to the play button on the looper and two, um, I've mapped to the record button on the looper. So when I press it, it turns record on and off. And the third one I have mapped to turn the, um, the track volume up and down. You can't see this, but it basically turns the track volume up and down. It allows me to cut the beat or anything that is playing on that track. But that's actually, it's mapped to um, one and channel one and two. And the next one's mapped to channel three and four. And the next one's mapped to the um, mix down. So that gives me some flexibility with triggering off the looper. Now, what I commonly do in my jams is I press play on the Denon SE5000 and then I want to start recording this loop but I need a hand free to press this so this uh, Arduino box allows me to do when I send a MIDI message or a MIDI command um, so bank three I'm um, sorry um, the button three on this uh, MIDI uh, controller will start Will, will, will enable record. So if I'm pressing this now, enables record, you can see. Um, I can enable record. And when I press um, record, this button, it will start uh, the Denon player. And when I press this third button, I'm going to press it on time, it'll actually stop the player and it will complete the loop on the looper. And I get a good shot of this when I press this button. Tip, tap, tip. Now, the looper's playing, but the SC5000 stopped. Now, I can now, on the fourth button, I um, send a message to the Denon to tell it to start playing, but and tell the looper to stop playing. So I can effectively juggle between these two. Um, if I press that, I'll show you. Now, the Denon's playing, but the looper um, has stopped. And the next button does the reverse. It, it stops the uh, the uh, the Denon player and it starts the looper and this one um, effectively now I can juggle between these two. Looper, Denon, looper. And that's, um, that's pr pretty much what I've been working on. Um, this box, this um, Arduino uh, circuit, it's just 
the most awesome thing I've come across. And the fact that I'm um, a software developer allowed me to program with it quite easily. And they have it, say, uh, a electro harmonics um, MIDI mapping pedal plus Denon SC5000 remote play controller. All operated by this MIDI thing. Um, it's been very exciting making this thing, and um, if anyone else has got the need to trigger their Denon SE 5000, maybe with a pedal, then um, let me know in the comments.